Hi everybody, this is Kimberly Quigley with The Red Booth Show, and we are here at the Sundance Film Festival 2016. We've actually been doing interviews at the Harley Davidson shop, which you can see behind me, and we are lucky to be right next door to one of the theaters where many of the films are being shown. So we are going to be walking around and getting some great little clips from people that are here, and we hope you enjoy the show. This is Kimberly with the Red Booth Show, and we are at the Sundance Film Festival with some of the filmmakers. How's it going, guys? Very well, very well. Really good, thanks. Okay, great. Well, why don't you tell us your name and about your project? Okay, my name's Jörn Threlfall. Uh, I'm a filmmaker from London, and my film is a short film called Over. It's a quite a dark uh, detective story, really, um, about a very surreal event that occurs in a London street. Um, it plays backwards uh, in reverse order, starting at the uh, end of the day, going back to the beginning of the day, and the viewer is, uh, plays a detective, I guess, and um, has to work out what's going on. And in the final moment, we reveal what's happened, and I challenge anyone to, to, uh, to guess what happens up front. Wow, that's amazing. That sounds wonderful. And what about you? Uh, mine's a short animation called Man O' Man, and uh, it's about a man who goes to a primal stream therapy class in order to in order to kind of get in touch with his masculinity and um, he can't even scream he can't let out a peep so he he tries so hard that he actually throws up a miniature version of himself which is like a mini primal man which just does whatever it wants it just fights and steals and screws and and um, and basically this little man leads the main character on the path to ruin and kind of completely ruins his life, so. <laughs> That's fantastic. So can you do a primal scream for us? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not hit, because when I do it, it's like, I actually was doing it last night. Maybe we should, really? maybe we should just go up the street and do it. We could do it in the, uh, in the studio. It, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's get scared? It's that, in, it's that impressive, I eh? I had to do all the screams in the film. Uh, Say that again, sorry. I had to do all the screaming in the film with some friends, so I'm pretty good at it now. I, I can get in touch with my primal man like that, you know. That is impressive. <laughs> so is this your first time at the Sundance Film Festival? It is, yeah. First time. Hope to be back um, with a feature, which we're uh, developing at the moment. So uh, we'll see in, in a couple of years, maybe. Fantastic, and um, how are you guys enjoying your visit so far? Yeah, it's been incredible. You know, the people are so wonderful. The setting is incredible. We've actually, we have to confess, we've been here about nine days and we've only seen one feature film because we've just been so busy doing other things. So we kind of feel a bit guilty, like we've wasted the opportunity, but you know, we just didn't want to sit in theaters all day, you know, and miss what's going on around. Well, I mean, there really is tons of things to do here, so um, I'm really excited to see both of your shorts, and uh, where can people find them? Um, actually, um, my, I'm just going to make my short uh, public on Vimeo, today or tomorrow, I think, so it can, it can be found um, uh, on Vimeo, yeah, there will be, uh, if you just type in my name, and uh, you'll probably, yeah, you'll probably find it. It's called okay. Over. Awesome, that's fantastic, and what about you? Uh, mine's not going to be released on Vimeo for a little while, but we will be screening at some more American festivals. Uh, so hopefully there'll be plenty of opportunities to see it. Fantastic. Well, good luck, you guys, and thank you so much for being on the Red Booth Show. Hi, watch the Red Booth Show. Hi, watch the Red Booth Show. <laughs>